Welcome back everyone, Criminal Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboids. So we got scratched last time, but I think we're fine. I'm not relatively unconcerned. As we got back to the okay state, which seems to indicate that we're fine. So that's what I have been told. Oh, come on. Scratched again, huh? That was just a that was just the bad luck of being turned the wrong direction. All right, well, let's see if we get lucky a second time. All right, give me some food. Give me some food. I don't think I'm carrying any. Let's break into that house. Need oh, there's some chips. Body status is okay again. Oh, god damn it. Alright. Fun, fun, fun. Side note, I'm not sure how we'd know if the alarm went off in this house. Something I had not really thought about until just now. Alright, let's uh, switch back to our, our axe here. Rainbow. Taste the rainbow, huh? Walk, gummy bears. Bouncing here and there and everywhere. Glazed donut. Sounds good. Apple juice. Crab, huh? Not gonna eat that. Cardboard boxes, wood glue I should take. Wooden crate can stay behind. There is at least a zombie banging somewhere around here. Is it in here? Yep, alright. Whatever. I don't care about you. Care about you, though. Fuel canister, huh? I don't know what that's for, but I will take it because it's novel. It's not something I've seen before. At least, not something I remember seeing before. It's probably an important difference there. Right, a window broke downstairs. Let's fill our water bottle over here. Don't know if the water if water's out yet. Um, I don't think it is. I still have, there's still the drip 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 sound effect, which I think means the water's on. That's how I've always read that sound effect. Anyways, it's like a audio indicator that the water is still on but that could be completely in that could be completely incorrect all right we're gonna go in here and check this out and then probably go straight home so he's getting tired and he's hurt and gas can it's a full gas can I'll throw that on the ground take this never mind that weighs eight I was gonna take that charcoal but I'm not gonna do that Welding hose. Sure, why not? Whoa. Sneaky bastard. I need you to fall down, dude. <laughs> it's like chopping wood. There he goes. I know eventually he'd fall over. That cost a lot more, uh, more, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot more power than it should have. 
Can I just use this? Wood glue. Right, let's see, if I pull the wood glue that I got out from here earlier, plus this wood glue, let's just repair this with wood glue, which I assume worked. Can I combine these two? Yes, I can. Pour into, there you go. Awesome. That is what I was looking for. Empty glue bottle can stay behind. Survival axe, I'm going to leave you behind. Alright. We're just going to go home. Wouldn't necessarily call this a successful operation considering we got scratched twice. And I'm not sure we found anything of great value, but you know, it was a it was an excursion. You gotta go out and look around every once in a while. Hydro Craft had a couple of interesting suggestions for me on the last video, so some sort of herb herbalism ta table suggested I build, so I'm gonna try that. And um, maybe try to craft a sledgehammer so that we can go to the gun store and get gun things. Sick. What? Better not be zombified, you little bastard. We have hypochondriac though, don't we? Isn't that one of the things we took? Hemophobic, weak stomach, hypochondriac, yeah. Alright, so that's probably hypochondrias just kicking in, the queasiness. But I guess they'll have to keep an eye on things. Not far from home now. Oh man. Where'd you guys come from? Now I gotta lose you before I can go home. It says one zombie just hanging out there by herself. She's welcome to stay there if she wants to. Okay. And we're home. Let's do a little lap around the base, make sure nobody has is banging on any of the walls anywhere. Don't hear anybody, but that doesn't mean they're not there. Also, apparently I can use the kiln to make charcoal from dead bodies, which I'm going to see pretty much right now. I'm going to look at because I want to see how that works. <laughs> I got to drop stuff off first, though. All right, what do I want to drop off? Let's drop this off. This is where my nails go. Just look into that solar panel as well. So he keeps telling me, Hydrocraft also keeps telling me I need to read these field guides. So I'm going to try that in a minute as well. This is not full. All right, put tailoring away. So if I read this, what do I get out of it? Something, maybe? 
I don't know. Maybe I have to use it outside? I don't know. But there are some things I wanted to do. I wanted to grab a corpse. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give a corpse. Let's go over here. And... Alright, so how do I do this? Is it in here? I can skin the corpse. That's kind of gross. Might have to do that though, <laughs> just just to check it out. Masonry weaving. I may need some sort of fuel for this. All right, let's. As gross as it is, let's skin a corpse. Okay. I want to look through everybody for charcoal here. Jar. Nope. Jar. Nope. Make charcoal powder. I don't want power, I want the actual charcoal. Char. Farming. Armor. Laser. I know that none of these... If you start chart board, interesting. I know none of these are actually going to have what I need in them, but I'm just going through them all so I don't miss anything. Weaving char. Research char, firecraft char, there we go, make charcoal. So we're going to need a lighter of some variety, and there's probably a body one in here somewhere. You can make it out of money, huh? All right, I'm just going to work under the assumption. There's a corpse. There you go. Gross. Um, can I throw this on the ground? Ew, extra gross. Okay, where's my lighter? Why don't I have a lighter? I usually carry a lighter on me. Have I seriously been running around all this time without a lighter? That's really not like me at all. All right, we should probably check on this stuff. I'm sure I've missed a million lighters because I, I thought I had one. Now I have to see if I now I have to try and track down to see if I have one somewhere. Otherwise it shouldn't be that hard to find, but it's just something we have to worry about. That's I need I'm just trying to get a healing boost here a little bit. Energy bar? No. Garlic, sure. Matches, that'll work. Alright, we'll see if we can do this with the corpse. We might not, might not be able to do it with the skinned corpse. Might not be, not, might not be something that's acceptable. Got matches. Got a kiln. Yeah, I bet the skimmed corpse doesn't work. That's fair. I mean, doesn't entirely make sense, but it is fair. Where's the gar where's the damn corpse? Where'd it go? There it is. I'll leave that out there. <laughs> Grab one of these corpses. Which is still a completely acceptable corpse. Now, there, craft one. Boom. 
One less corpse. Eight pounds charcoal. Eight eight units of charcoal. Put that away. Really hope we're not zombified. It's gonna piss me off if we are. I don't know. Right, it's getting late. He's exhausted. Let's take some painkillers and see if we can go to sleep. Might be hard with the pain. <laughs> Stupid things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disinfect it. Oh, we need to clean our bandages, probably. There we go. Eat. Let's eat some. What do we want to eat? What do we want to eat? What do we want to eat? Eat a lemon. Pineapple. Starting to go bad. Why don't we go ahead and eat it then? Just to get it out of the way before it gets to the point where it's going to knock us down. Alright. See if he'll go to sleep. He might not go to sleep. To panic to sleep. All right, Let's take some beta blockers. Probably not gonna sleep super long. Oh, it's gonna be longer than I thought. Yep, nauseous is going away now. Yeah, it was just hypochondriac kicking in. So let's clean these bandages. Cool. So let's uh let's get rid of some corpses. I also wanted to look at that herbalist table that I was told was a thing. I think I'm just gonna pile the charcoal in the corner over here rather than try to store it because it's tricky to store all that. Wish I didn't have to come in here every time I wanted to do this. Might be able to do it on the kiln itself. Should look next time. Let's take a look. Can I do it? I just get to where I can see the kiln on the ground. Can I do this? There it is. Make charcoal. Excellent. Oh, and it leaves the charcoal on the ground, too. I kind of would like the charcoal over here. Alright, so we know we can do that now. Close this out here. So where is... Herbalism? Is it its own thing? Is it part of survivalism? survivalism? Herb. Not there. Trapping? Herb. Nope. It actually might be under carpentry. Herbalism table. We need planks, twine, small clay jar, a wooden table, carpenter's bench. So we're going to need to make a couple of small clay jars. And that's it, I guess. I think we have everything else. We might not actually have the twine. Small, small clay jars. That sounds like pottery. Small clay jar. Charcoal plus red clay plus kiln. Okay. Where is my clay? Go 
cool. Make small clay jar. One. Small clay jar. One. Boom. Two small clay jars. Play back away there. All right. So what else do we need? We need. Oh, wrong, wrong search area. Herb. We need a wooden table, twine, and some planks. So we need some wooden table. Let's do wooden table. Wooden, wooden toolbox. Table. Make wood table. Planks. Alright, so we need to pick up some of these planks. I need five of them, is what it said. No, I'll pick up five. All right. Make wood table. There you go. Boom. All right. I actually would like to hold this, please. Um. So we got jars, we got that, we got, go back to carpentry here, herb. So we need twine and a couple more things. So let's see if we have any twine. I feel like if we have twine, it's probably inside. Actually, let's see if we can make twine. What would you, where would you make twine? Well, let's check here first. We'll see if we have it first. If we don't have it, then we'll try and see if we can make it. I bet you could turn thick. Um, thick rope into twine. That seems like a thing that could be ha happen. All right, so no twine in here. It's gonna be all books. It's probably not in here either. Yeah. T for twine. No twine in here. I'm gonna pull out this thick rope here. Because I have a feeling we can probably turn thick rope into twine. Probably vice versa. Twine. It's a little bit of it. And one more. Nope. Alright. How about out here? There's more thick rope. Nothing there. This is all weapons. More thick rope. That's that. All right, so let's see. So if I wanted to make twine, so let's see. Let's grab a little bit of this thick rope here. You can make one into rope. Rope into thin rope. Thin rope. Oh, thin rope doesn't go down to twine. That's sad. Twine. I'm gonna start. We have to do this this thing again here. Twigs. Two way radio. Nothing alchemy. Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I mean, twine isn't that hard to find. I could probably go out and find it, but I just want to see if we can make it. I feel like we should be able to. Weaving, that would probably have made the most sense. Grass. Or straw. So, do I get grass? I 
take that. Will this give me grass? Apparently not. Hmm. Alright, well. Something to figure out. Still stressed out. Suppose we should do something to de-stress him. Um, this actually will do de-stress him a little bit. But I'm going to stop here for today, and I will see you guys next time. We will finish this thing next time, I promise.